There we go. All right, we're live. Hey, hacksters, what's up? Uh, today I have some info to you about a contest that we are running with Wiznet, uh, and I happen to have this kit available uh, to unbox for you as well. Uh, so what we're looking at is the Wiznet 750SR kit, and this is a serial to ethernet converter, uh, and I believe it converts back again as well. Uh, why would you want to do this first up? Well, not actually, first up, first up, let's open it up. That's gonna be the most exciting. <laughs> then we'll get into the, like, why you would do this. Um, so they have a bunch of cool uh, info on the box about exactly how you get started. Um, there's drivers and manuals available. They have a good getting started guide as well. Uh, and in this bag, we have the module itself. Um, it comes with cables, uh, micro USB, you've got a serial cable and an Ethernet Cat5 cable. Uh, this is what you're going to be using to connect to your hardware. It runs on 5 volts, so you can also use the uh, uh, micro USB controller for that, or cable for that. But you can also use a wall wart adapter. And let's see what we've got in here. I haven't actually opened this up yet. Oh, someone has! Ooh. But this is the, let's see, I've got a, a cool piece of paper here that tells me all about this. Uh, check that out. Ooh, I'm going to see if I can focus a little better for you so we can look at this close up. Ooh, there we go. Cool. So there's four GPIOs available to the user here um, and also a potentiometer that you can mess with. So these are for testing to make sure that your, your code is working correctly even without having to hook up a bunch of stuff to it. Uh, and let's see, what are these modules here called? In fact, it's pretty blank. Uh, you've got your Ethernet connection here uh, and your serial over here. And you can also use a uh, barrel jack to provide power. So let's see. Um, according to the documentation I have received, <laughs> this is a W7500P, uh, the large module here, is the evaluation board that includes, again, the uh, interactive bits that you can uh, hook up your code to. And plugged into it here is the W uh, uh, the Wiz 750SR module, and that's this top one on here that actually includes the Ethernet port. Uh, there's plenty of documentation about this online. If you look at the contest page, we've got a bunch of links up there. But uh, just to run through it really quick, let's take a look at that. Mm -mm. Okay, so here is the contest that we're running. Um, first up, actually today is the day that we are shipping out the free kits from the ideas phase. So uh, you should know by now if you have already won one of the free kits from submitting an awesome idea. If you missed on a, out on that round, then don't worry. Uh, a, you can already buy uh, this one off of the site itself, and you can also uh, you know, always submit an idea to one of our other contests and get some cool hardware that way. But um, you can buy it through the links on the official page. There's you know various different currencies for Korea, the EU, the US, Hong Kong, etc. Uh, and so the contest, yes, you have until June 30th to submit your final project. So, you know, you could still order one and potentially build your project in time to win one of these amazing prizes, which is like $3,000 in cash, uh, a new MacBook Pro, an iPad Pro, or more cash. So there's $500 each for the runners up. Super exciting. Uh, you can get a license key for the development environment or build your own. They don't recommend building your own development environment, but it is a thing that is possible for you to do if you really want to nerd out hard on it. So, you know, we're not going to stop you. Uh, key features of this guy, you've got serial the Ethernet module, da da da. Why would you want to do this? Well, if your, your hardware is talking serial and you want to have them communicate over a long distance, uh, then, you know, the difference between, you know, it, once you're converting it into TCP IP, you're no longer sending uh, information bit by bit by bit. Um, you are converting it into packets which have headers. Uh, you can um, basically, yeah, the, the information is packets 
or <laughs> is converted into packets, which allows Ethernet to uh, do validation and collision detection and even retransmit packets that were dropped. They can arrive in any order on the other end, but they'll be put back together correctly. And so this helps with a lot of, um, you know, sending it over longer distances and like avoiding any problems with noise and stuff. So that's super good. Uh, and so you'll be like making your hardware talk to each other that way. Uh, pretty decent speed. You've got, uh, again, the four pins of uh, user configurable GPIO. That's general purpose in and out, inputs and outputs. Uh, data and debug UART ports, which is nice. Um, do, do, do. Uh, built in 10 or 100 megabits per second Ethernet ESD protection IC. There is also a password security feature available on this, so you can. Uh, you know, we're super um, supportive of including security features in IoT because that's how you end up with, you know, a botnet made of people's drop cams or whatever. Um, yeah, security's big. I would love to see, I'm not a judge, but I would love to see security be a consideration in all of your projects. Um, yeah, that's about all I got on you on this for you, but let's keep looking through here and see what we've got. We've got a rundown on the kit. Um, again, you know, you've got those three cables, Ethernet, serial, and micro USB. You've got the two little plug together modules. Uh, and then down here, you've got a ton of development resources. So there's a getting started guide for one, super useful. Um, and that's pretty comprehensive. So any questions that you have about this, you can probably get it from here. There's also an entire wiki page that just tells you, oh, not there, <laughs> that just tells you about it. Here we go. Uh, and so if you have questions, in-depth questions about the product, uh, this is the place to get your answers. Super good. Navigation is great too. Uh, and you can download the software. Again, you may need a license for some of this, but um, that's available to you for free. And then you can learn a little bit about WizNet itself. So yeah, uh, we've got a ton of contests going on right now, and we're actually going to be releasing even more in the near future. So, you know, be sure to check out this page. Uh, again, even if you missed the ideas phase for this one, you can buy one uh, or just submit a new idea to another contest. We've got one going with Maxim, WizNet, one with Google. You could win a trip to China. It'd be so cool. It'll be really warm there, but uh, it would be an awesome opportunity for you to connect with, um, you know, other developers in China. Uh, we've got our 3D magnetic sensing competition still going on with Infineon, if you caught that video before. It's super exciting. We've got one going on with Arduino, Sigfox, Tinkernet, all of these things. Tons of ways. Wow, we've got a lot. <laughs> I mean, I think this is the most contest we've had going on at a single point, um, like, ever. And we have a couple of Earth Day themed contests as well. So tons of chances to win really cool stuff by building the invention of your dreams. So be sure to go submit to those. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome rest of your MCU Monday. Uh, yeah, check out this kit and have a good one. Ciao.